the hard part for me to like contend with is sometimes because I am my schedule is so free, I fuck around a lot. Um and I'm like, you know, oh crap. I it's ten thirty PM. I I'm still sitting in my pajamas. I studied or whatever. I cleaned my house a little bit, but I don't feel sexy. I don't want to log on to cam for four or five hours and you know, now I've got to do my hair and I've got to do my makeup and I, I do I get lazy with it. Um, and you know, it's just even on days that you're not doing the most, which I typically don't do the most, you still have to get yourself kind of in this mental state. And if you're not, you can feel it and your clients can feel it. Like when I'm sitting there and I've had a rough day, I'm stressed out or I'm just tired and I've been cleaning my house all day and maybe, you know, I got super stoned or something. I'm just not feeling it right now, but I've got to log on anyway. Those are days I'm going to make less money. Um, so you have to kind of really put yourself in the actor mentality. And even if you're not into it, you have to pretend to be into it. You got to put on the big smiles and the sexy voice. And even when the person you're camming with is very much someone that you would not normally find attractive, you better find something to get you going and make those wheels turn. Um, and that can be hard. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Cause I, I never even say that. Like, uh, it would probably make it easier if like, especially with someone that's not like comfortable with this or anything, like think of it as an acting gig. Like think of it like you're, you're performing, like you just think of yourself as an actress. Yes. You know, like that, I think that could push you through. Right. Right. Absolutely. And I got a coach. Um, so there is someone online and she, she goes, her name is Jade Malone. Um, she goes by like redhead Jade, I think on social media, but she does these like master classes for spicy content creators. Um, and one of the biggest things that helped me when starting all this, I've always, again, I'm a big, big on education. So I wanted to know a little bit before I jumped in. And I got a coach, I was like, you know, what, what are the types of things that you do? What, how do you set boundaries for yourself? What do you do to get yourself in the mood? How do you keep yourself on schedule? You know, what are some things that you do? And her number one recommendation was to, even if it's, even if you're fully yourself, like I am, to create a character. She was like, down to the way that you say hello. And she was like, this doesn't have to be who you are in your everyday life. She was like, you can wake up and decide who you want to be today and fit a niche and make yourself work. Um, she was like, you know, pick three things about yourself that you love and kind of adapt to those. Maybe you have a very specific color. I really jump on the fact that I'm a student and then I've got kind of that girl next door vibe. That really works for me, so I play to that. Some girls maybe are really spicy and they've got like that beautiful sultry look. So you're going to want to do something a little bit more intense. You find something that caters to you and you sort of build a cater, you know, um, a life around that. Where were you born? You know, what did you do? What are your friends like? What do you like to do for fun? And this doesn't have to be, you know, something, the person that you are every day. A lot of the times I think it helps people to be outside of themselves for this. So create a persona, be an actress, be an actor, you know, get yourself in the headspace. If you're not typically the type of person who would do online sex work, then create a character that is the type of person who would do that and fit that persona. Have fun with it. You know, and before you know it, you've got like this whole alter ego going on. Um, a lot of the times it really, you know, I know girls online who are night and day from their personality. You would never guess, never guess. And on the same regard, you know, like someone, even like the girl next door, people are come online and they're like, holy shit, you can get really kinky. And I'm like, yeah, just be, you know, you can't always... You can still have your niches, but get a little dirty, or you can't always, you know, it's important to really analyze your model, look at the comments, look at who they are. A lot of the times we take, you know, our buyers fairly seriously, and we write some stuff, give you a little bit of input about us. Take that to heart, because if we're telling you that, you know, we're sultry and we're intimate, you might want to find out why. Right, you know? right. Yeah, no, that's, that's, yeah, that's great advice, man. Especially like, cause like to play cat, like it's fun. Like that's, you know, 
Exactly. Right? It's fun. You could, like, you know, and it can evolve into, there's no rules. Like, you know, you can evolve to wherever you want to be. Right. You know? Exactly. You know, online, Katie is very boisterous and, you know, I laugh a lot. I like jokes. I like to have conversations. You know, me every day, I would much prefer. I don't know a single one of my neighbor's names. If you try to talk to me when I'm out in public, I'm going to be like, ew, go away, like six feet, please. Like, I don't want anything to do with other humans outside of the wall of Cammy, you know. <laughs> But it's really fun when I get to come in and all of a sudden I'm bubbly and I'm friendly and I'm the type of person who wants to know more about you and I want to talk to people and I get to sort of play that role. And then in my everyday life, I can just be my normal self. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like an escape, really. I mean, you know, right? Exactly. Exactly.